So you thinking about moving to Suffolk, Virginia? Well, we're in another neighborhood this week where you're going to love this community, especially if you like being in close proximity to your kids' high school. You have a short commute right down to Kings Fork High School. And if you want all the amenities of shopping, dining, restaurants, access to big box stores like Walmart, you're directly off of Godwin Boulevard right off of Kingsport Road as well with Publix actually coming to the area. If you have not seen our planner station video as well, you definitely want to check that out after you finish watching this one. We'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you love horses, you love having an equestrian background, you're going to love the name of this community, Saddle Brook Estates, which gets its name from a historic farm that was back in the late 1700s that this community is now of wrapped around and is still at the heart of this community. So we're going to get you all into what's going on in Saddlebrook Estates. We actually only have one active listing in the community, but that's okay. We're still going to show you around and show you how the amenities and what this community is all about and so much more. We're going to get into it right after this. <music> Welcome to Moving to Norfolk. My name is Craig Houston. I'm with your local Moving to Norfolk team, and we are all about helping you make a smooth move to Hampton Roads and any part of the Hampton Roads area, including Suffolk, Virginia. Today, we're out at Saddlebrook Estates, but before we get into what's going on in this community, if you ever have a need where you are looking to buy or sell or even relocate to the area, definitely make sure that you reach out to our team by either phone call, email, text we love getting all those and we definitely love to actually speak to you on a video call if you're not in the area as well too so just give us an opportunity to help you make a smooth move to hampton roads and any one of the parts of the community in the seven cities so this community was actually established in 2005 and it wasn't fully built out into 2017 but this community has about 150 plus homes that's well developed in this community and you know what i love about suffolk i always talk about it almost each and every video whether it's a negative or positive for each one of the neighborhoods that we do and we love lot sizes we love coming to communities where there's lot sizes available and i think that you're going to find saddlebrook estates actually has took into consideration the lot sizes as they built out the development for this master planned community so one of the things that i like about also this community is it is hoa driven so it has a lot of that same style feel homes unlike our video where we talked about that in burn um, old mill creek where you actually had communities where you had a community where it was all different types sizes and shapes and different floor plans across the whole community but here you're going to see more of that vinyl vinyl plank siding and facade on the front but you're definitely going to get a deep porch space as well too but also what you will find here that's going to be a little bit significantly different is that in the front of the community there will be more brick facade houses fully brick homes at the beginning of the community when they first started the development you know brick back then in 2005 was expensive but it's not quite as expensive as it is it's now to have an all brick front and side housing uh, development but now what you will see going forward in this community is that typically a home sells here in about 29 days and it's typically going to be around the average price of about $491,000. Now that $491,000 typically gets you a five bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,800 square feet home. And it's typically around about $177 per square foot. We're going to get you on over to our first active listing in the community. So you're probably wondering, okay, Craig, it's only one active listing in this community. How often does a home actually come up for sale in Saddlebrook Estates? Well, in the last 90 days, we've only had one home come up for sale and sold. And then we also, in the last year, have only seen three active listings sale in this community. So that tells you in the span of a year, seeing that it's a low turnover rate, people move here and they love the community so much that they just don't move. So when that happens, it makes it a little bit tougher for you to get into a highly well sought after community like this one right here. Remember, this is actually really about maybe a five minute commute by vehicle to Kings Fork High School. And then Kingsport Middle School is right there as well too, which that's the school that if you have middle kids, middle school kids, they will be going to that school. And then Elephant Forks Elementary is the elementary school in this community as well 
too. So when you think about that and take that into consideration, if you look at just the lot sizes, like I said before, you see how far it is nestled back off the main road from Gotland Boulevard and how close in proximity it is to everything that you can think about from a residential standpoint. This makes it an ideal community to where a lot of people would just say, you know, I can't really get much better, except for probably waterfront living in the community like this out in Suffolk. And for those residents that are here, they are going to want to see their property value continue to swell because this community, like I said, is, op is obviously in high demand when you see all the things that it actually gets to provide you. I mean, when you just look at the gorgeous lot sizes and the mature trees in this community, it just shows you that it's so pristine. And when you're getting so much space, 2,800 square foot of living space in an average home in this community with five bedrooms, on plus or two bathrooms plus that just makes it even more of a great situation for homeowners who decide to live here so our home that's actively listed in this community right now is a five bedroom two and a half bath over 2900 square feet of living space is listed on the open market at four hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars and it's actually a hundred and sixty seven dollars per square foot this home probably would not last long because like I said before, typically in this type of community, you have about 29 days on the market. I know we live in a time where people say, Craig, if it's on the market more than seven days, it must be something wrong with it. Well, think about this when you hear median days on market. Like I like to tell people, when you hear median days on market, you have to remember that that's the middle number from the highest number on the board and the lowest number on the board. And they basically cut everything off in half from there and you have that one number in the center and that's the median days on market. So we can talk median days on market, but I love giving you the stats of the averages because that just shows you what you should especially think about when it comes into this community. Saddlebrook Estates, it's going to be a well dominated established community as things keep on populating here in central Suffolk. As things continue to grow here in this type of community, what you will see is that the price values here will continue to escalate and skyrocket even more. So especially when property comes into demand and we're running out of inventory and people are just not selling their homes right now due to the simple fact of having those low interest rates that we saw during the pandemic, you can expect when these homes list, they're going to be in high demand and they're going to go for top premium dollars as well too matter of fact we'll discuss some of that here shortly in our market recap we're going to get you over there now unfortunately it was so windy when we got ready to do our market recap that we decided that we had to just come back to the studio to complete the market recap for the saddlebrook estates video so i hope that you enjoyed that neighborhood tour that we gave you i think that saddlebrook estates is one of those ideal communities for what people really don't understand until you actually see it in person of how beautiful it is how big the lot sizes are and how much home you get for the value especially being with, within the residential community of king's fort high school which is the newest high school recently built in suffolk virginia so i think you take all that into account and that gives you an idea of our perspective a little bit of what's really going on around Suffolk and how big of a community that is really starting to grow into. So let's just jump directly into our market recap here and talk about what's the median home value in Suffolk, Virginia. That's going to be sitting around two hundred and seventy three thousand dollars currently at this point in time the average sold price in the last 30 days in suffolk virginia has been around three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars now the average price per square foot in the last 30 days as well is around 183 dollars per square foot and the median days on market is actually around 12 days median days on market but remember during the tour that we gave you we talked about how many the average days on market in the community of Saddlebrook Estate sits around about 29 days on market. Now, they can go faster. It could be fluid. Things are always ever changing in this market. And that's why you have to stay tuned in for not only our neighborhood tour videos, but make sure that you're staying tuned in for our market update videos that comes out once a week that we leave here for you as well. So that way you can understand what the post of the market in Hampton Roads actually looks like, especially if you're looking to relocate to this area versus being someone who lives here currently because the market is so fluid and you're going to always hear things that's going on by the mainstream media. But listening to agents who are actually in the community who are entrenched in understanding what's really going on 
in our community is going to benefit you the most. And that's what we look to aim to do, not only with neighborhood tour videos, but with market updates as well, too. Now, so that leaves us with only about 301 active inventory listings in the MLS that's uh, without being under contract that we actually have available. Now, that's a 2.3 months worth of active inventory that we actually have in Suffolk versus the 1.6 month of inventory that we have completely across the board in Hampton Roads completely. So now when we talk about the median rent in Suffolk, that's around $1,600 and that's equivalent to about a 974 square foot apartment, folks. Okay. So to me, when you talk about that type of number and why that's so important to note is because if you're paying $1,600 for a 974 square foot apartment, we should talk about what you could actually rent in a home for $1,600. And then we should also do an evaluation on what you can purchase for $1,600 in this market right now in Hampton Roads. If you care about any of those type of things, definitely leave us a comment down below that you want us to break that down for you and we will bring that content to, re to you immediately, okay? So now when it comes to the population in Suffolk, we have about 93,268 individuals that live here now. Suffolk actually believes that that number is actually going to grow to 116,000 by 2035. So that tells you that growth is still happening in this community. And with this going to continue to be trending up with growth by population, you can expect more big businesses going to move into this area and more individuals are going to need affordable housing and housing demand is going to continue to increase in Suffolk as well. Now, the highest sold listing in the last 12 months over there in Saddlebrook Estates is going to be $510,000 home. It was a six bedroom, three bath, 3,069 square feet, or about $163 per square foot. Now, the lowest sold listing in the last 12 months over in Saddlebrook Estates also was $468,000. And that was a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,400 square feet. And that was about $195 price per square foot. Now, I hope that you found value in this content. If you definitely have, go ahead and hit that like button for us. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And we definitely encourage you to ring that notification bell so that way you can always be the first to learn about everything that's happening in Hampton Roads, especially in Suffolk, Virginia at this point in time. So whether you're moving in two weeks or you're moving in 120 days, we're always ready and equipped to help you regardless of what you're trying to do. And you can help, always help you make a smooth move to Suffolk, Virginia, and the rest of Hampton Roads. It's been your boy Craig with the Moving in Norfolk team. We'll catch you in the next video. Y'all stay safe.